Let's discuss Yam. Anytime you take a journey, there are rules that govern the journey, there are principles, truth that you need to follow. So the first limb of Ashtang is starting with Yam. That makes a lot of sense. Understanding the rules of the game, rules of the journey. Understanding the truth that is established that you need to follow. Uh, and if you don't follow, you may make your journey a little more stressful, may require more karma, more fuel, more energy, more waste. So if you look at truth or rules, you can divide them into two main categories. There are principles of truth that are natural. So if you study, for example, physics, you learn the truth that is governed by the laws of physics, how the planets move, how the earth pulls objects, and finer details of electromagnetics, energy, and so on, which are the truth of natural laws. Based on those truths, one establishes technologies, science, the way you use your cell phone, airplanes flying, all of those are based on scientific truths or natural laws. In addition, there are truths that are established by men and women, cultural laws, social laws, and they are different from natural laws. Those are established by people, people like us. And those truths which determine if a person is rewarded, if he's thrown in jail, how immigrants are treated, how border control works, work, how traffic laws work, all of those are man-made or woman-made laws. Now those laws could be fair or could be unfair. For example, there could be laws based on caste system that if you're born in a certain caste, you get certain privileges. And that's an unfair law. There could be other unfair laws targeting women, targeting people of darker color, or even targeting people of fairer color, lighter color. Now those laws are unfair and sometimes, of course, they can be fair as well. So an active yogi has to recognize just because one understands laws does not mean that the laws are fair and should not be challenged. So as an active yogi participating in with the underlying concept of ekonkar, which means we are all essentially one, we all need to nourish ourselves, one has to also question yam or laws that are unfair. Now in the beginning when yoga was started, a lot of laws that were off the land in India were unfair because they targeted lower caste people, they established laws that were clearly unfair for women, for lower class people, and laws that privileged certain groups of people, especially the Brahmins, the priests. And those laws were challenged and should be challenged and they are continuously being challenged. So we do recognize that 5,000 years ago when yoga was started, or somewhere around that time, the history of yoga had rules, had in it, embedded in yoga were rules that were based on caste system, gender system, which were not fair. But that doesn't mean that one has to obey those rules today just because one practices yoga. So one has to be open to changing yam and an active yoga, yogi should participate in making sure the yam are fair and especially the yam that men and women have created, that they are fair. They allow all of us to nourish, all of us to reach our inner talents, our abilities and not be cramped by laws that are totally unfair. So that is Yam, the first limb of Ashtang, the eight limbs.